What's up guys, it's Jack here and in today's video I'm going to be talking about African cyclic aggression so I know last week I did a video of my African cyclic in harmony and this week that has changed quite a bit because this elongatus up here has been a complete dick and he and he's basically terrorised my white spaffer in here and he did this to my other white spaffer that I had in here and I consequently got rid of him so this guy has stayed in here and he's attacked my other white spaffer and there's a white spaffer up there so I did it three males I should have really got one male of two um, yeah one male two females but the guy in the shop just gave me three, three colourful ones because I didn't really know what I was doing at the time, so I just went along with that. But this guy has just been a complete dick and attacked pretty much all of them apart from this guy because he's got the safety of his filter up there. But I'm going to be getting rid of his filter soon, so he's probably going to have to go. But he's attacked one of my old white spaffers, the one that always used to stay down in this corner. And he was probably my my favourite fish in here, that white spaffer. And this guy's just gone mad on him and really like damaged his fins and he's been doing jaw, jaw locking and everything. So. I got put the uh, blah, blah, blah. I put the white spaffer in the my fry tank, the one up here, and I put a fry that was in that tank in a tank downstairs, and I seem to be getting along fine. But I had to move all the rocks out to catch him, and then I just put them in the other tank. So I'll show you guys that in a minute. But I will most likely be getting rid of this guy unless he can somehow get on with my other white spaffer. And I mean, this fish is a lovely fish. The colours are really nice, but but. Number one, the white spaffer doesn't grow as big, and number two, he's not as aggressive. So that is why I'm probably going to keep the white spaffer instead of this guy. But if I can, I'll definitely t keep both of them. So that's it. And then for the aggression, you got to overstock your tank with African cichlids to cut cut down the aggression. And also, if you're new to African cichlids or you're getting some new stock, don't get fish that look similar. I know lots of people do it and they do it fine, but I've just had some really bad experience experiences with it so it's my advice so thanks for watching guys and I'll show you the other text now so see you then okay guys so this is my white spaffra he doesn't look too good to be honest his fins has been have been nipped pretty badly and his lips as you guys can see are really red and swollen and that's because of the jaw, jaw looking he's been doing for elongatus but I'm sure that over time this guy will, rec will recover and I'll be able to put him back in the other tank so that should be good. And the fry that were in this tanker downstairs, like I mentioned earlier, and they are all getting along fine down there, so I'm going to show you guys right now. So, see you then. Okay, so this is the tank, and it's got yellow lab fry in. Now, I'm pretty sure that these aren't, um, what's it called? Like true yellow labs. They're not electric yellow labs, for sure. I don't have a black stripe going down their dorsal fin. But they do have yellow labs in them, I think. It, it could be a combination of. Abino Sicolia fries and yellow labs because they do look quite similar, like the red eyes and the shape and everything. But they definitely got yellow from the yellow labs, so that's what I think. If you guys got any thoughts on that, just let me know in the comments. But there's about 70 in here, and here's the little guys. They seem to be getting along fine. I'm not too sure if you guys can see them, as they're quite like light colour, and the gravel like is also white, so they're quite hard to see but they are in here and there's about 25 of the little guys and I'm not too sure about 50 of the big guys so there's about 70 75 in here and there's not much aggression in here to be honest which is really good because I was worried that I was going to put them in and they were going to get attacked by the bigger guys but I seem to be all doing fine and as for rocks I've just got a couple of these little rocks I'm not sure what type it is I just found, found them on the beach and put them in and they seem to be fine and then this is just like sandstone slate stuff <laughs> and that's quite good, it's really good to stack as you guys can see there but here's the fry tank I was thinking of transforming it into a planted tank eventually when I get rid of these guys and maybe keep some cardinals, tetras or neon tetras I know that everyone does that with plants but I would love to set up a planted tank and extend my knowledge and I'm sure lots of you guys keep planted tanks out there there's some really lovely ones on YouTube but I'm not, I might keep like rams with them as well like the dwarf cichlids whether that would be Bolivian rams or German blue rams or maybe electric blue rams I'm not too sure but it's just a thought if any of you guys would like to see that then let me know in the comments too but anyway guys thanks for watching have a brilliant Christmas holidays and 
I'll probably be resuming my video making in the new year. So, look forward to that. <laughs> but anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.